What's going on, guys? Jada Black here. Shout out to everybody suing them. As you can see from this article, this is a fairly breaking story because it only been posted for less than 30 minutes of me recording this video. Well, apparently, Kim Kardashian is going to be receiving $200,000 a month in child support. Now, people will say, well, you know, Kanye can afford it. You know, he does have... A lot of kids with her, <laughs> you know. Uh, but to me, this is ridiculous on a lot of levels. One, Kim Kardashian has a large net worth as well. And, I mean, Kanye does too, but didn't his net worth drop after all these brands dropped him, right? But I think the reason why this divorce took so long is because I think Kanye was trying to negotiate that number down. I think they were probably asking for more money. More than 200000 I just find it interesting how somebody like Kim, who, make, who, who makes as much as she has made, is getting child support like this. How the courts are so eager to give her child support. Now, we're going to get into the article because I haven't gotten to it yet. But I'm just letting y'all know, man, if, if this was a situation of her being overwhelmingly rich and him not, and let's say he gets the kids... Him getting $200,000 a month in child support would be jarring to a lot of pe people. Not not people who understand logic and common sense, but the people that feel like that man don't deserve it. He's taking her money. He didn't earn it. But that's what we say, right? So let's get into this article, TMZ. Kim Kardashian and Kanye West have settled their divorce. TMZ has learned the former husband and wife have resolved both child custody and property related issues according to the settlement kim and kanye will get joint custody with equal access to their four kids uh although the docs say equal access sources with direct knowledge tell us kim will have the kids the lion's share of the time even kanye has acknowledged kim already has the kids 80 percent of the time according to uh, the settlement kanye will pay kim two hundred thousand a month in child support our sources say kanye's not footing the bill for child support that's just his share that's interesting wording in addition he's responsible for 50 percent of their kids educational expenses including tuition he also is responsible for 50 percent of their children's security expenses so it looks like everything is 50-50 so far. I'm telling you, that's why this divorce took so long. Kanye was not about to take no L in this divorce. Now, this is interesting. If there's ever a dispute regarding the children, Kim and Kanye agreed they will participate in mediation. If one of them fails to participate, the other gets to make the decision in the dispute by default. Not hard to read between the lines. Well, that's I think that's a bit of entrapment with Kanye West. Because Kanye can be erratic sometimes. And I think that can be a bit of an entrapment uh, because Kim will make some type of accusation and then she'd want mediation and Kanye won't show up because she'd gaslight him. And, you know, because that's what Kim Kardashian does. She gaslights Kanye West. As for the 200000 is due the first day of each month and must be wired into her account. Into her account. Not the children's account, <laughs> but to her account. That money is going directly to Kim. It's going to her. Not, not the kids' accounts. Her account. As for property, the division of assets is in accordance with their prenup. And according to the prenup, both Kim and Kanye waive spousal support. Of course. Because we really have to look at them books to see how much Kim got. <laughs> Our sources say Kim has walked a tightrope over the last year with Kanye going off the rails and refusing to participate in resolving the divorce. As we reported, he's gone through half a dozen lawyers and has blown off depositions. As one source put it, Kim patience was tested, but she handled things calmly. Ultimately, Kanye came around. Uh, the secret weapon in settling, Disso Queen Laura Wasser, who played Henry Kissinger, going back and forth to resolve uh, to resolving outstanding issues 
TMZ broke the story that Kim filed for divorce in February 2021. After seven years of marriage, the divorce stalled because Kanye refused to engage, and Kim went to court last month to get an official decree ending the marriage with both custody and property to be resolved at a later date. The settlement came Monday on the eve of Kanye was scheduled to have his deposition taken in case the matter went to trial next month. The book is now closed on the marriage. This is a this is a marriage that Kanye should have never gotten into. But Kanye wanted to be super famous and he felt like Kim Kardashian was a vehicle. Not to say he didn't want to be with her because I'm sure he did. But I think it was just a way for him to be you know in a in a spotlight because kim kardashian had a spotlight on her he wanted that to be a part of what he was doing you know and i think he made a mistake i think he made a mistake i'm not going to say the children are a mistake the children didn't ask to be here but you married a woman that you weren't even married to for, for less than 10 years i mean how many husbands has she gone through kanye west should have had an idea that it, it may not work but the guy's ego just gets the better of him sometimes. So where he makes a mistake marrying a woman that he shouldn't have married. I think looking, the reason why he probably went through with the divorce this time is because he knew that there was really nothing he could do to save it. I think Kanye still felt like he could save this marriage. And I think he did certain things in order to try to fix it, but it was ultimately too late. You can't fix something with somebody like that. I don't know why he even tried. Now, Kanye West is in a different uh, <laughs> headspace, so to speak. I mean, the guy's just all over the place right now. But ultimately, it's a good thing that he was able to resolve this. I truly believe that he wanted to fix things with her. But when she started dating these other guys and really trying to distance herself from him as much as possible even though he bought a house right next to hers i think in that moment he said you know what we need to just end this and i just want to do what's in the best interest of the children and hopefully he does because kim kardashian is a gaslighter kim kardashian loves to gaslight kanye west to get him to react that's what she does you know people are talking about oh he's testing her patience um, she was the one gaslighting him, throwing birthday parties for the children and trying to make it to where he can't get there. I mean, that's the type of person that Kim Kardashian is. Kim Kardashian wants to distance the children from him, and he would have to intervene publicly to stop that from happening because that's what goes on. A lot of these women, you know, you divorce them, they get the children, and they think they're the they're they can they have uh, they can have the final say so of what goes on no fathers matter in, in their lives no matter if your baby's mother is kim kardashian or not uh you have to be able to let people know you're not going to distance me from my children but i still believe kanye made a mistake wifing up kim kardashian because now he has children by her a, a woman that's, that's clearly not gonna she she wants to get uh re ingratiated with the streets okay she's out here trying to compete with these younger women for dudes that don't even want her right now so let me say in the comments section let me know your thoughts like this video and share it. follow me on facebook twitter and instagram and i'll see y'all next one